A review copy of this game was provided by the developer. I'm so tap tap and let's play N. This time PC flavored. So, this is a very physics y based, uh, very fluid um, platforming game with a very high skill ceiling. And um, if you didn't see my PlayStation 4 video of this game, uh, not a big deal. It's the same game, obviously. Uh, there's some PC specific stuff like, um, you know, obviously PC controls. There's a few extra options, I believe. But I'm playing this with a good old controller. And uh, this game just does a lot of really great stuff. And there's really no more, pla there's no platformer you're going to find that is more ridiculously polished and content rich than this. There's something like almost 2,000 levels. And there's something interesting. This game kind of tries to teach you very early on that uh, failure is a thing that's just gonna happen. You need to be okay with that. So I probably should have mentioned in the first, you're probably gonna die a couple times in the very first level, just because um, just because there, there's a couple traps that I know of them now, but uh, your first time through, you're gonna die. But this level in particular is actually trained to teach you, hey, maybe you don't need all of the gold, because this room is like, this is the third level in the game. It's one of the most infuriating ones to get all gold in. It's just not pleasant, and you need some pretty tricky tricks to actually get through it. And it's just, you know, it's not there to be mean, it's just to be like, hey, getting all of the gold is not a requirement, it's an extra difficulty mode, basically. And I actually really love that about the way this game works. So this game basically has two difficulty modes, even though it looks like it has zero difficulty modes. Um, the easy mode is just getting to the end of the level. The hard mode is getting all of the gold. Getting all of the gold is basically, for some reason, the uh, analog stick does not move the menus, even though, since this game is just two directional, I actually think this game plays fine with an analog stick. Um, I would usually be, you know, D-pad only for uh, platformers, but I find the thumbstick's a little easier my thumb, and my thumb's been a little sore lately, so playing this with my thumb. Um, blah, bleh. So this game, oh, there's so many things this game does to, teach you like these first levels they're really just tutorials but they don't feel like it um they just do all of this stuff to teach you how to get certain gold like um it's the best kind of tutorial where you just kind of have to figure out you know how to progress and the level is just designed in that you have to learn a new thing in order to progress and it's usually not teaching you too hard um, the, the level, the placement of the gold is usually a hint in some of these. Like, you saw that one where I had to do the, uh, actually, let's go back to that one. Um. This one. So, what this is teaching you here, if you run and do this jump, or if you just run off like that, you're not gonna get as much height. You actually can get just enough height, but you'll actually get a lot more height if you do a jump and then jump right away. You actually get more vertical movement. Uh, yeah, it's trying to teach you that, you know, there's some angles, you can get some speed by trying to jump up slopes and stuff. And, uh, there's other stuff. Oops. Ah. I also love how responsive the UI is. Everything's very slick, very fast, very, you know, modern. Everything looks great in this game. Um, it might look simple, but it's actually really hard to be simple in a good way. Uh, so, you know, there's... They posted on Twitter quite a few times about some of their design inspirations and stuff. Uh, I don't tend to do, you know... Uh, I wish I had more time to get into design and stuff. I, uh, you know, this... Recording videos like this is kind of my major hobby, and it takes a lot of time. And, uh, you know, so it's a, it's a performance, so, uh... Ah, splat. So, uh, you know, I have to, you know... Certain level of quality I try to maintain, and, uh... Just kind of an all-engrossing hobby, not like, not like, it's not a bad thing, but uh, it definitely kind of limits the amount of time I can spend in some other stuff. Um, but anyway, they, they're real design heads, and uh, it shows, like, actually, color cycling isn't on, is it? Um, there's a whole ton of different palettes in this game, and you actually unlock more as you go. I think it's as you collect all golds, maybe? So this is... The trick here is that if you fall straight, you will splat and die. You have to catch that edge. So, like I said, this game just has tons of little things to teach you. 
and it teaches you fairly slowly and like I said there's like around 2,000 levels and the difficulty curve is impressively smooth for something with such a high difficulty ceiling and so many levels. There's a few things that I would say are a little unusually difficult. Um, but like there's some areas in like the last uh, there is one level at like I think it's the very last of the top row or yeah of the top row and uh, it's probably a bit harder than it needs to be but uh, a great thing about this game is that every time you unlock you have like four unlocked but not completed episodes at a time. I'll show you what I mean once we finish this episode. But basically there's always, if you get stuck, there's always something you, else you can try, which is something that I think a lot of puzzle, a lot of puzzle games do, and it's really good. So like, yeah, we have five episodes unlocked. So if I complete, let's complete B3 instead of what we're supposed to. So another introduction to a different enemy here. I love this game's managing your momentum. I usually do not like ma momentum at all in games like, in platforming games. Um, but N++, it just makes it work so well. Everything is so smooth and everything, it's designed for the momentum. And uh, there's a lot you can do with the momentum. It doesn't feel like just, oh, arbitrarily, oh, I slipped off an edge and died. Uh, it's, you know, it's very thoughtful. You have to learn to use your momentum. And the controls are just very responsive, and see, I... It was a fairly precise jump you had to do there, but, uh... Even working pretty much from memory here, I got it just fine. The music is really great, too. Oh, right. I'm actually probably gonna get... Let me see if they ever did an option for that. A lot of the music in this game is claimed for content ID, and that kind of gets, you know, it's not a huge deal. But uh, it's very annoying, and I do not like being in content ID, so I'll probably check. I think they mentioned they were looking into doing an option to disable the content ID, you know, the license music. Let's see if I can... Let's see if there's an option for that. Music volume, BMG type, so full in order. Oops. Auto color cycling on. I thought auto cycling was on, but it's doesn't seem to be doing that. You can, there's a whole bunch of different options in this game. It has color blindness options, trigger dead zone... I think the retry flow is just, you have to, it's an extra re press on classic. Um, there's some secrets in this game. I actually never got any, too many of the secrets. Um, there's some really weird stuff you have to do to get some of the secrets. Like you have to get like all of the gold, but one or, you know, real weird stuff that only hardcore fans would ever find out. I'm pretty sure there's guides to that whole kind of thing now. Can I really not mess with the music? Oh well. But yeah, there's different color palettes. I don't have them unlocked in this game, unfortunately, because I, you know, all my playtime is on PC or on PS4. It's good. This just came out for PC. But like I said before, when you complete, um, when you complete the thing, you unlock a new episode. It's like we could go by column or by row. I'm pretty sure going by row is the intended way. But if you got stuck on A4, you can just go play a different level. Also, this is. Um, the whole intro, you know, set of episodes, as you might expect, is, you know, set up like a tutorial. The the main game isn't quite the same, like, you pretty much learn, you know, all of the core skills by the time you get through the intro. But there's still a very smooth difficulty curve along as you play the uh, main levels. It's all pretty dang impressive. Also, these color palettes, really good stuff. As soon as you touch the door, you end the level even if you didn't mean to. Oop. Yeah, that's just another th way to teach you the uh, ramp jumping. Some of the level titles in this game are really funny. Sometimes they're useful. Sometimes they're just insulting you. Um, and this one's tiny taps. You, you don't, you don't want to jump too high. But, uh, hey Parky. Um, Oh yeah, but regarding the difficulty thing, so I just really love how this game, it integrates two very different levels of difficulty into one game very seamlessly. The hard mode is simply collecting all of the gold. Sometimes it's very tricky, 
Um, sometimes it's simple and it lets you just decide is getting all of the gold worth it in this level? In my opinion, I, I don't want to, you know, waste my time with that right now. So if you don't want to do the hard mode, you don't have to. It's, um, and, and nothing like insults you. Like a big problem with the way a lot of games do hard mode is that, you know, everybody sees, you know, easy and you know, ah, I'm not a baby. I don't want to play in casual mode. I don't want to be a casual gamer. And so, you know, people ignore easier difficulties even when they should really probably be playing on them. So this game, there's really no guilt in not getting all of the gold. There's very few people are gonna be able to do that. Um, is this the one that teaches you? Oh, I think you can actually jump so hard that you splatter on the ceiling. I don't think this is the level though. Um, yeah, getting all gold, very tricky, but uh, but yeah, I just really love I meant to do an article on this like uh, all right it, it lets them integrate a lot of harder challenges like getting all of the gold in that it's completely different from playing just to get just to get to the end of the level so even using just one set of levels they have two extremely distinct challenges with uh, very differing you know level of difficulty and that's just fantastic like it doesn't disrupt the flow at all, whether you're, you know, going for all gold, which you really do not want to go all gold uh, first playthrough in this game. Uh, I've, I've seen a few people do it, and, but trust me, you, you really don't want to. Um, this game also has tons of high scores. If you want, like, your speedrun or whatever, um, you're not going to want to do a full game speedrun. <laughs> you're not going to do an RTA of this. Um, I forget exactly how many hours <laughs> using your head. See, a lot of the achievements, the achievements are really cute, like, there's a lot of, you know, achievements for, you know, you get one for dying your first time, and it's, you suck, but that's okay, and that's kind of the game's, you know, philosophy in life, you know, you, you suck, but you know what, everybody sucks, and you're gonna get better, and that's fine, and I wish more games were like that, because, you know, nobody is born into this world knowing how to play, you know, Street Fighter. And I think, you know, fighting games respect that, but it's they're not super approachable. Um, N++, it embraces that you're going to suck at first, but, you know, it just teaches you all that you need to know to not suck. Learning process. See, I think I just need to get a lot of speed on the second platform here. The momentum just feels so good in this game. A lot of times, I do not like momentum. Like, say, well, I guess another thing is you have so much control over your momentum. Like, momentum, like Luigi in Mario Lost Levels, that's that's bad, that's bad juju. That's bad momentum. But in this game, you have so much control over it. And you, it just, it just feels good. Let's see my time here. I, I'm actually, I got a stream in about 40 minutes, but uh, I'll probably just... I guess I'll show you all of the intro at least. Um, yeah, I don't need to do that. I don't need that. I don't need that gold. That's. I really like that. Usually, in a difficult, the a problem with difficulty settings is, say, I pick hard mode, and it turns out one boss, one single boss, is just crazy hard in hard mode, and I don't want to fight that boss. I have to give up my whole playthrough in a lot of games. Um, ideally, I could just change my difficulty, but a lot of games, way too few games, let you change difficulty on the fly like that. In this game, all I have to do to lower the difficulty is stop going after the dang gold. That's all you have to do. You don't even have, you don't even have to, you know, it's all, it's basically a self-set challenge, you know, not exactly, but you know, you're the one who's deciding to get all gold or not. You don't have to, uh, you know, feel bad or even like toggle an option. You just, you just say nope, which I'm going to do in this very level. I'm just going to say nope, and we're done. But the way score works in this game is that I'm pretty sure, like, the way, basically it's seconds remaining, and you pretty much are always going to need to get all of the gold to get the highest score, I think. I'm not a high score runner in this game. Uh, a lot of people are very intense with it. But I am not. Um, I just enjoy, you know, the main part of the game. 
And this game is designed in such a way that I, you know, being the sort of person that is not going for high scores, and is not even necessarily going for all gold, I can still enjoy this a lot. I still enjoy getting gold, but, you know, I don't want to, you know, sit here and scream at my controller for 50,000 hours because, you know, I couldn't get one single piece of gold. <laughs> right, that one. Triangle to retry. I love that. that <laughs> this is a good trick level. So you can, like... The hitbox for the gold is just slightly bigger than the hitbox for the trickers. Um, oh, and another thing, uh, this game originally launched at 25 bucks on PS4. I do not think it was overpriced, like, in terms of value, but obviously a lot of people didn't get it because, you know, they thought it was too much. I still strongly disagree that 25 bucks was too much for this game. I think it was 25 anyway. But, um... I guess apparently it didn't sell super well, so the game is now 25 bucks, or not 25, it's 15 bucks instead of 25 bucks on Steam. I'm not sure if the PS4 price was adjusted or whatever, um, I haven't really looked. PS and kind of makes it hard to see the price of a game that you already own, but uh, whatever. I'll link to the PS4 and PC versions, they're basically the same, except, you know, obviously the platform is different. Um, I hope you, I hope you understood that. Um, but, oh another cool thing! Um, I asked on Twitter and so this game has creator levels like user made levels like you can make any of this you could make in the level editor. It's actually a really cool level editor. I'll, I'll take a peek in this. Actually, you know what? I'll take a peek right now. I'm not good at making levels, but I guess maybe it's easier with mouse like yeah, you can you have mouse controls so if you want to make levels you you I guess you'd probably maybe want this on oh man, I'm, I'm out of my element though. Um, um, fill, 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 fill the tiles. Yeah, I have, I have, I don't know how all this works, but it's yeah. If you want to build, you can build any level from the main game. In uh, go without saving. In that editor, you can make anything. You can make. You're, you're limited by your imagination, basically. Um, but any levels you can create in either version of the game. Um, you, you make a level on PC, a PS4 player can play it. There's different leaderboards because, you know, there's control differences, there's, you know, it, it makes sense for the leaderboards to be different. But it is so cool that the uh, level things are shared. Also, this game has a really cool way of showing your progress. Um, Perky, don't! Sorry, my cat's getting in the way. Um, oh yeah, stats. So this game has really cool stats, like in air, ground, wall. Solo and co-op. Um, there's co-op levels in this game. I actually never got to show this off. But there's co-op levels where you you can play and like the levels are designed so that like one player needs to die or like activate a switch or something. Like it's really designed around co-op. It's not just you know the same levels. Um, it's actually really cool. Actually, can I? Yeah, and there's actually race levels too. You start each level with a bonus. Collect gold to increase your bonus. Search the exit. Convert your bonus to permanent score. Launch a rocket. And so the first person that reaches the exit shoots a rocket and then they. Um, they try to kill the other players to reduce their score. It's actually really cool. Uh, I'll show you the concept, but I don't have a second player. Um, you can play all of the race and co-op levels solo, but I think some of the race or the co-op levels are impossible. The race levels are totally playable solo, but um, as you can see, they're really, you know, they're designed to be a fun race. They are not fun solo. So, you know, I'll, I'll just show you the end of this one. Oh. And you have some respawn time, and so you know, whoever dies the most obviously isn't going to do very well. But it's really cool that you can like chase, you make a, oh, and you can you can act, you can do stuff like activate mines and enemies, trying to get your friends killed. It's actually really cool. Uh, I wish I could show it to you, but uh, introducto race. Yeah, obviously not super interesting to watch this solo. So let's go back to the solo levels. If it would let me. Come on. Okay, there we go. We, oh yeah, there, there's a we suck option. Um, and it says you suck. And um, I think it stops the enemies, or the timers. Or no, it opens the door, I think. It's basically admitting that you suck and it makes the game easier for you. Wait, let me see how exactly that works. So just force open the door. You suck. I forget exactly how we suck works. You suck timer. 
Uh, anyway, co-op levels, uh, I actually can't do those solo. But uh, like I said, they're, they're basically puzzles where, you know, a friend has to sacrifice themselves to, uh, to let the other people activate a door or something. It's really cool. Yeah, I, I sort of meant this more as like a review than, you know, show you all the levels. There's 2,000 levels. I'm not going to show you all the levels. I don't, I don't have the patience for that. Um, I might stream it again sometime. Like, I streamed it a couple times on PS4. If you want to see more of me playing, like, more advanced levels, um, just search Sir Tap Tap uh, N++ on YouTube, basically. You'll find it. Um, this game does so much right. It's, uh, it's really quite impressive, and it was sad. Apparently it didn't do, like I said, it initially didn't do well. Uh, hopefully that's being corrected with its new launch and new price. Um, I do really wish pricing weren't such an issue for indie games, but uh, it really does seem like 20 bucks is like a hard cap. Uh, it really shouldn't be. I mean, No Man's Sky wasn't, but No Man's Sky had, you know, marketing and all the bells and whistles, and it had that, it had that hashtag triple A feel. I don't want to talk too much about that game. I, I'm the only YouTuber that doesn't want to want to talk too much about that game. I, I am very uninterested in that whole uh, situation. This game also has lots of really cool features for speedrunning. Um, like, um, well, like the instant retries. It has an episode reset option. I don't believe it's enabled by default. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, episode reset. LBRBY to start an episode from the beginning. I wonder, does this game have... I'm just wondering if this game has... Uh, I know if you unplug a controller, you instantly get keyboard controls. I wonder if I put it in a PlayStation controller... Oh! I did not expect that to happen. It's not liking that. Oh, my 360 controller is still plugged in. Sometimes the games will know if a uh, PlayStation 4 controller is plugged in. Right, let's just go back to our Xbox pad here. There we go. Oh right, this story. The story is great. You are a ninja. Your godlike speed, dexterity, jumping power, and reflexes are all the result of an amazing fast metabolism. Tragically, so is your natural lifetime of 1.5 minutes. And yeah, that's how long you have to beat any given level, um, at most. Like all ninjas, you have an unquenchable thirst for gold, a natural propensity for exploding, exploring rooms invested by increasingly lethal ninja, ninja killing robots, and a devout belief in N. N, the way of the ninja, is a highly advanced system of spiritual, cognitive, and physical training. It emphasizes pacifism, humility, and the need to traverse a series of five rooms before the end of your lifetime, a feat known as beating an episode. In accordance with the teachings of N, it is your profound hope that one day you'll develop the skill, intelligence, and inexplicable ability to reincarnate necessary to achieve mastery of all episodes. Plus plus. All right, you can um, you can actually favorite or like follow. It, it shows like replays. I think those are all meta net levels. But you can like favorite the level that you're seeing here, or favorite a level that you're playing. Um, Oh man, there's so much cool stuff in this game, and I I, want, I, need, I need to look at some of the secrets sometime. You know, let's take a peek at some of the, uh, oh, and there's the legacy. I believe all of the levels from N and N plus are actually in this game, too, in the legacy levels. I think they have some tweaks, maybe? Like, the visual style is upgraded, obviously. Um, why is the color cycling not working? Yeah, I like, this is a good one. Um... I believe you unlock the color palettes by getting all golds in X number of levels. The unlocks just kind of gently come as you beat the uh, levels. I'm not really sure. I'm sure there are walkthroughs and all of that stuff by now. But uh, I just kind of kept playing. It's a game where to complete, to, you know, to get all the secrets and everything, you're going to need to walk through. But to really just play and have fun, you really don't need to worry about that too much. You can just go on and do stuff. Oh, and there's lots of levels like this where there's there's like intelligent backtracking. Like you do backtrack, but your backtrack is different because you know you have to not activate these mines, or you have to go back and get the gold you missed, or whatever. And uh, they can make routing pretty fun. Speaking of routing, oop. Yeah, 
you know what? I'll 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 go for the all gold. Just just this once. Okay, like I was saying earlier, I really love how the gold you know gives you this these two difficulty options in this one game. It, it really feels good. Because if you want an extra challenge, it is right there, and, and it's well designed. You know, a, a a big problem with a lot of difficulty stuff is it's just not well designed. It's just it's just crap. But uh, all of the gold stuff, you know, it's all hand design difficulty. You know, it's not just you know all of the enemies are identical, but you know now they take five times as many hits and you die instantly, which is basically the AAA method of adding difficulty. You know, it's all manually designed challenges that are. Uh, Pretty reasonable. Usually there's that one level in each episode that is significantly harder than the others to get all gold on. Just, you know, make you work for it. Oh hey, no death novice, all gold novice. Yeah, th there's little achievements like getting no deaths in an area. Um, getting all gold in an area. Oh hey, it finally cycled. A brief history of amazing letdowns. Yeah, I think we I think we get the uh, the point of N plus plus. I might I might do a stream later. I I I think I'll do some more casual streams. Just you know, whenever on like a weeknight. Still at when I do it, if I do a casual stream, it'll still be at six central. But you know, I, I won't necessarily announce it because I don't want to like I don't want to resign my life to always streaming at you know Tuesday and Thursday and Wednesday. Like I'll have a couple days that I'll schedule, which is currently Saturday and Sunday. Um. But sometimes for some games like this, I think I may just stream instead of trying to do, you know, trying to fit into a let's play, or um, not doing a video at all. Um, wh whatever, we'll we'll get a little gold. I, I the gold is just I like how the gold is just compelling enough that like in a lot of levels, even if you know you're like me and you're like I'm not gonna get all of the gold in the entire game, you know, like ever. But this, you know. It's just easy enough where it's like, hey, I, I could do that. And you just kind of go for that extra little bit of challenge. Like, in this one, it's a missile dodging challenge. And I'm, I'm not as big a fan of the missile dodging challenge. Um, I've seen some people do some pretty cool tricks with missiles. I've, I've done some accidental pretty cool tricks with missiles. But uh, I'm not feeling that right now. Alright, this one. So, so that is your clone, and your clone ninjas will kill you on contact. And they make, they're usually designed for these backtracking levels, because I mean, obviously. But um, they they make things really interesting regarding backtracking. Also, there's a lot of things where we have to activate extra um, evil ninjas, I think this is what they're called, to uh, get all of the gold, and that obviously amps up the difficulty. Though this one, not really, but it's an early level. So, okay, we'll do. Let's do one classic level. So the the classic levels, they're a lot more designed after like specific things, um, like they're meant to look like stuff, and the, the I, I think I feel like the new levels are better in general, in my opinion, especially the higher level ones. I mean, you know, the higher difficulty levels, the the later ones in game. But um, the old levels aren't bad or anything. You know, it's still a great game. But, uh, oh boy, there's a lot of levels. Yeah. It's so ridiculous to me, the whole, the discourse over, oh, this game's too expensive. It's like 2,000 levels. It's amazingly polished. It looks beautiful. It's, uh, the level of polish in this game, it really can't be overstated. Um, I think a lot of people are really bad at appreciating polish, and a lot of people just undervalue 2D platformers, like, but the thing about this is, is you like you only played if you only ever played one 2D platformer in your entire life. If you made it N plus plus, you you would probably never need another one really. Because I mean, it's got the easy levels, it's got the hard levels. You know, it, it's just cathartic. It's got so much to do. Um, it's not a roguelike, but it's just got so much content. You, it's pretty hard to run out. I'm sure, I'm sure there are hardcore fans that have been playing the PS4 version since it came out. Like. Was it over a year ago at this point, I guess? Um, but uh, yeah, those people, like, you know, you know, the speedrunners and that type of thing, you know, ah, crap. Um, sometimes things are more difficult than they seem. Um, you know, 
I'm sure it's possible to run out of things to do and then, but then, you know, if you've actually played every other level, you're probably interested in, you know, going for those high scores and stuff. So there's just so much you can do. I do love how the game keeps itself in these small chunks that are really enjoyable. And uh, you can just, oop. All right, so we've seen all of the pallets. It's a good time to stop the video, I guess. This is all the pallets in the, the starter pack. Like I said, you unlock a lot more, but uh, I think it's maybe if you unlock a whole roll of gold, I don't know. Also, if I stream, I'll probably play on the PS4 version. I, uh, that's where all my progress is. The game isn't really, you know, it's the same game. It's still great, you know. I absolutely still recommend it, but uh, not much reason to buy it, buy it twice unless you want to support the developers, which, you know, I'm fine with that. I'm sure the developers are fine with that too. Um, The game also has fairly creative uh, Steam trading card thingies. Like, one of them is like a picture of the, uh, like a really lo-fi picture of the uh, developers, uh, Mare and Reagan? That's a uh, <laughs> name slightly hard to pronounce. I'll look it up on the credits once we get to the end of here, so I can actually pronounce your names right. I, I have this thing where like, oh god. I have this thing where I'm not getting all of the gold on this level. That's, that's the thing that I have. Um, I have this thing where like I I know mostly somebody's name, but I, like I, I don't want to say it like out loud because like I'm 100% sure I'll get it just wrong enough. Oop 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 oop. Tighten up. Oop! <laughs> I didn't even see that. Sometimes you just get in the zone. And this game has that sort of tranquility like a uh, bullet hell game sort of does where you just get in the zone and you know you, you die and stuff but you don't really get too frustrated unless i mean there's certain levels that will get you frustrated get, don't get me wrong there's some very hard stuff in this game but uh yeah mayor shepherd and rygan burns there we go i, I think that's pronounced rygan um sorry sean mcgrath tom johnson mass ontario so yeah, there's your credits. All right, music. Music credits. There's, there's a whole bunch of licensed music in this game. It's, it's all really good and really fitting. Uh, thanks. Thanks to everyone who made N++ possible. N++ is dedicated to all the players of N and N+, who have enjoyed our games and supported us over the years. You rock. Aww. Oh yeah, there's help. There's like... Oh yeah, there's help for each of the different modes. It kind of shows it to you the first time you... Uh, go in. Actually, I think it shows you to you every time you go in. There's not as many co-op level. Or actually, oh wait. No, there is a pretty decent amount of co-op levels. There's just not as many intros. Okay, so you can play this with up to four people too. Um, I believe they had to nix online co-op. Um, I think a lot of people, I, uh, maybe a lot of people really used it, but uh, I don't know. The, the complaint over the online co-op seemed a little bit exaggerated at the, at the time of initial release. Yeah, this is N++. It's still great. It's now it's on Steam and it's not any less great. So yeah, if you haven't checked it out because it wasn't on PC, uh, no more excuses, my friend.